what's up with this? We are back at the rally again. This week is Mark II week. We're finishing up the rally and doing the last couple of bits on the Mark II and we started some work in the engine bay on the Mark II again. So that's going to be a lot of work. First up, let's get the axles done and the rally, well, the maintenance work done so we can get it rolling again and then do the final pieces which we needed to do. And as you knew in the last episode, I needed to get it off the ramp real quick. I put it the ends of the axles in because people really be careful always never let a car roll with only new bearings because the bearings will wear out so always put the end studs in of the axles so the movement is how it should be and then you can't wear out your bearings so that's what I did to get it rolling and off the ramp again so now it's on the ramp again let's get some work done and when I'm correct I got all the parts in now, the good parts, so we can finish this up. So let's get all these axles in the vise and get them constructed together. Some lathing work again. Seems like almost every episode is some lathing nowadays. That's all the custom stuff we do because the rear axles are a little bit too long. So in the joint you turn out the little chamber so it will just slightly slide over the axle a little bit more and then you got just cut that couple of millimeters that you need to fit the axle well let's be sure that this will fit so i slightly removed the plastics and let's see if this will fit to be sure before getting everything mounted together again because now now we know that it's not so easy so this is sliding this is sliding in pretty easy well this wasn't one of the first plans but look at this i think when everything was together this wasn't too bad but it was coming if i see it this way And then we're off to tuning cars. That's always the stuff that's happening. This isn't built by me, but the previous owner. There's a little chamber laid it down in the V-joint. So here's the new one and that doesn't have it. So that's our thing to do. Getting the center out slowly that we won't lose the bearing balls and then Back to the late again, as usual nowadays. I've never done this before, but I think I can do it. <laughs> Let's see if we can turn this around. So that the... Oh, yeah, there it's coming. Okay. That's that. So... And then, the next challenge. Can we clamp this in the late? I never done this before like I told you so let's see if this with all the shapes out will fit in the late <laughs> I have no idea if this will fall in between or we can just figure it around okay just one, two, three points are exactly aligned. So 
let's get a micrometer out. Always another challenge. Whew, as you can see on the display on the lathe, this is pretty hard. It's almost pushing it backwards. When it's getting some ease, it's coming back into the dimension it needs to be, but oh, this is hard. Not have to have this before. But the first chamber is in. The second one will be easier because I know the right feet and the right steps I need to take now. But damn you, this was a tricky one in my in my feelings. Woo. I've taken it really easy, but I must say this is a nice little chamber in it. Kind of happy, satisfied about this. So this is the ABS sensor that was made for this drive shaft, but with a new V-joint, this end cap is slightly bigger, so this won't fit over anymore. Freaking always something. On for another challenge. Got all the feet joints, all the axles repaired and fixed, new brake stuffed on. Now the owner asked me to do a new oil pressure sensor. But with this motor in this rally, it's pretty packed. And this is a nice engine, yes. So I hope if I remove some airflow parts, I can reach it. Because it's all at the bottom, I can see it. Um, I can try to show you where it is. So if you see the white wires over there where the flashlight is now, there's the pressure sensor. But that's, well, I'm laying on the floor now and it is over there. Hootie! So I hope I can reach it from up top a little bit better. But this is going to be a tricky one. Okay, there's a little bit more room now. All the way over there and all the way under there. there. So still need to figure out how to get there, but this is better. Well, that's a little bit of shame. Everything is back together. Could not fix the sensor. Check these pictures out. It's so close to all the, the brackets and stuff. Eventually I had it loose, but the next problem arise, it 
couldn't come out because of some of the brackets for the cooling lines are in the way. So the only way is to get the complete front out. Well, that's not what we're going to do. So everything is back together now. Maybe another time. Well, that's it for the rally episode. It all didn't go as planned because I wanted to do two cars in one episode. But as you know, this YouTube game is a little bit crazy and it depends a lot of on timing and planning and that's always difficult with builds like this. And another thing that I'm, yeah well, having a problem with nowadays is the workshop. It just does, isn't flowing anymore, the workflow is really slowing us down on the way the routing in the shop is. So that's why I decided Friday that it needed to be adjusted. So I started adjusting the workshop and take a little look at this. So there was a bending machine over there and look at all the space we've got. So all this over there and there was the welding table was over there. All this space is free now. So the water jet is under there and we've got all this free space. The bending machine went over there behind the curtain and now I want to rearrange the rest of the shop because, well, too many projects and that's slowing me down. This is how far I came and as you all know I want the web shop on the go to get that flowing and then that means that we need part and stuff in it. There's some stuff in it, but it's not enough and not enough to get it flowing. So this comes to the next piece of the shop. And that's this part. So there's the laser machine. And I'm already really happy on how really bigger and wider this is. The welding table is over there. We're totally not finished yet. We're going to rearrange a little bit more. But on the other hand, now I got a table and stuff over there to save my part and then I can just weld everything together, put it in the machines, finishing it and then we can put it in the web shop. So well, this way we're flowing to over here. It's not ready yet. I'm going to show you a little bit how the cars are going, probably going to be or how the setup is going to be. to see if this will work. I am not totally happy yet, so I think the thing to do is get this ramp over there as far in the corner as that I think will work, and then we can move this a little bit around, and that means we got shop space left and more cars to fit in the shop. So that's what uh, hopefully will be done next week. Now we got the rally done, that will leave us next week again and then we're on for another project. So thank you all for watching again. Like and subscribe to the channel to help us keep growing and see you in the next episode.